Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. At least two people are confirmed dead in that crash. New Mexico State Police say it happened about 1.15 this afternoon south of Socorro. News 13's Alex Tomlin is live at the scene with the latest. Yeah, Kim, take a look behind me. You can still see parts of the plane kind of just on the edge of this embankment here. We do know two people are dead, but there's still a lot of questions about what happened. Let's look at some video we shot about half an hour ago. Two minutes later, the plane was completely engulfed in fire. It landed on the on-ramp of I-25 just at the south side of the city. So it's closed this on-ramp and the surrounding frontage roads because of the wreck and because of debris. Officials say there are two bodies inside the wreckage, but they have not ID'd them. The plane burned so badly and so completely that officials can't even read a tail number. The crash and debris, again, as we mentioned, as we come back out, has closed this area, this frontage road we're looking at, and also the on-ramp, which is also a southbound off-ramp. But the freeway is still very much open. Officials are waiting for the FAA and NTSB officials to come out here and survey the damage before they do anything with the plane. But Kim? Hey, thank you very much, Alex. Now that could take until tomorrow, so that wreckage is expected to stay out there until at least then. As she mentioned, they are waiting for the National Transportation Safety Board to arrive so that they can begin that investigation.